have a boyfriend? Mm, no. You never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. When it comes to horror films, he is considered to be the master. And today, the entertainment world is mourning the loss of Wes Craven. The man behind the movie Scream and Nightmare on Elm Street died yesterday at his home in Los Angeles. He was 76 years old. Let's bring in Yelena Adzik now to talk about how he's being remembered. Well, you know, exactly the way that you mentioned there, Dwight, his films, his movies, a lot of people reflecting back on the projects throughout his life. The two biggies there, Scream, it really was a phenomenal, a huge success. And it starred so many young, uh, at the time, some up-and-comers and some hot stars. Of course, Drew Barrymore was in there, too. And Nev Campbell, we see our own, one of our own. This was a movie that spoofed all other movies that even Wes Craven himself had made. You know, the person's calling from inside the house. And it was just still very, very scary, even as a spoof. It went on to make $100 million domestically. And then same goes for Scream 2. And by the way, there were four screen movies in total, so it really was a huge success. But of course, you gotta go back, right? You gotta go back to the original, the one that really broke the mold. This one still gives me creeps. Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy Krueger was just an absolute game changer for this industry and for, for horror films. And the way that he was able to get into the psychology of, you know, really what everyday fears might be. Uh, he was a child molester. He was someone who died and came back to life. And this was just so so grotesque and the way that you he came back to you was through your dreams so he was really able to tap into something that everybody does every single night and so it was really truly horrifying and uh, by the way there were five of them in total he wrote and directed uh, or was involved with at least four of them but that was just a phenomenal success and a lot of people are looking at that by the way Johnny Depp had his first role in Nightmare on Elm Street a lot of people forget about that he cast Sharon Stone in her first role Bruce Willis as well so he really had this eye for talent incredible incredible storyteller and one of his pet projects is premiering at TIFF I think next week and I imagine he must have been very very ill right up till the end. Well, that's true. And he is listed as an executive director on a film that you might want to check out. It's called The Girl in the Photograph. Here's a look at him on the red carpet in that's earlier right. days on TIFF. So and Wes Craven, uh, you know, he really led a very full life. And if you're wondering why you maybe hadn't heard of films as of late with him, uh, he was working on a lot of TV projects, even one in the works that was based on screen. So a lot of work still to come, uh, clearly leaving a legacy that uh, will unfold in the future. Thanks, Yelena. We'll see you soon.